Good day folks, Jordan here today with a little impromptu video, nothing too fancy. Just wanted to update you all on my new video editing computer purchase, which I pretty much had to get. I know there's probably going to be a lot of discrepancy, but I really did have to get this. My MacBook, for those who don't know, has a problem with the touchpad, where the touchpad likes to jitter across the screen, and it makes it very aggravating to try to use this thing on a daily basis, because of course this is where I primarily like to do all of my work particularly iMovie and maybe a little bit of Microsoft Office here and there. And an external mouse helps, but it really doesn't solve the problem. And it's come back and forth, and it's just not fixed. So since I'm not going to be getting the newest Mac OS Mojave update from the App Store uh, on this machine right away, unless I hack it on there later on, which I might do, I'm going to need a newer computer. And since the iMac wasn't going to get the Mac OS Mojave update in the fall anyway, and it's still got a dead hard drive. I'm just going to sell that machine onward to somebody who will actually appreciate it more than I will. And in that meantime, until that machine gets sold to help cover the cost of this thing, which was 450 bucks, I did a buy it outright instead of doing the bidding process. So that's why it says one bid there. Because there was, excuse me, a buy it now option. So I decided I'd scoop it up because this is actually a pretty reasonable deal for one of these. So this machine is a mid-2012 15-inch MacBook Pro non-retina, and this has the 2.3 gigahertz quad-core i7 with the dedicated graphics, and it also has 8 gigs of RAM, which I believe is up from the standard 4 gigs that this machine would have shipped with when it was new. So that's really nice. And the cool thing is, is that on this particular model, since this is the non-retina, I can actually upgrade the RAM if I really wanted to, which is which is nice. And overall, the machine itself is in pretty good shape. The backlighting on the keyboard works, and the palm rest all looks in great shape. The charger is not funky or anything. The glass is not cracked. And overall, the machine's in really good condition. And here's the top. The top looks really good, too. No major marks on it anywhere that I can see, which is really surprising. The only real major marks on this are on the bottom, where, as you can see, there's a few scuffs on the bottom piece of aluminum but I would expect that for normal use that's fine so I'm not too worried about the bottom plate that's perfectly normal and this should have the high wattage adapter because this has the dedicated graphics in it so hopefully that is the case so that way I don't have reduced power or anything like that and I believe this also takes MagSafe 2 so I'll have to keep that in mind and make sure that this is a MagSafe 2 adapter I could be wrong though I believe that's only on the retina models that they went to the MagSafe 2 connector, although, again, I could be wrong, because it looks like MagSafe 1, but it could be MagSafe 2 on this one, so I'm going to hold my money on it being a MagSafe 2. So, there we go. So, yes, 2.3 gigahertz quad-core i7 with the NVIDIA GT650M 512 meg discrete graphics, which is much more powerful than my current machine, which if I go up here to about this Mac, as you'll soon see here pretty quick. I know my serial number is showing, but whatever. It's just for demonstration purposes. I'm just using this for reference. You can see, if I zoom in here slowly, you can see mine's only an Intel Core 2 Duo with 10 gigs of RAM and a GeForce 320M. So what a massive upgrade I just bought. So this is seriously going to make my video editing life a lot easier because believe me right now, this machine is being a pill to edit on because it's it's fine for editing but the exporting takes forever it takes an absolute eternity to export videos and not only that I'm pretty sure a lot of people from the discord know this and it's gonna do it right here on camera I'm pretty sure or on the screen recording but the mouse jumped and I never touched the mouse so the touchpad has some serious problems that prevent me from realistically doing a lot of work in a reasonable amount of time because the mouse keeps acting up and it just makes my life a living nightmare so this machine although it was a little bit on the pricey side for what I was willing to pay I think I can work with this and I think this is gonna be a real nice upgrade from what I have right now given that this has not only a quad-core i7 that's like three generations newer than what I have right now and it's gonna be more powerful than my iMac ever was but this will be the new video editing machine that I use for at least a year or two. I'm hoping it lasts that long. I'm hoping I don't have any more touchpad problems with MacBooks because, yeah, well, there's a nice joke from the Discord right there. Everybody loves a good joke every once in a while. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and shut my mouth here and 
go ahead and uh, end this video here. I just wanted to make a little update video talking about my new purchase here, which is this MacBook Pro mid-2012 non-retina, which is an absolute beast in terms of the specifications for one of these machines, and it's going to be a serious upgrade over what I have now with this particular MacBook. It, the CPU alone is a good bit more powerful, almost five times as powerful as the one in my current machine, which is this mid-2010 MacBook. So that's going to be a welcome upgrade. And hopefully that means I can return to more quick 1080p video editing and also 1080p 60 can make a return for when I do screen recording, which I miss doing screen recording with doing virtual machines. So I'm hoping that I can get back into it with this machine because that would be absolutely perfect. This machine is going to do an excellent job at doing virtual machines. So hopefully we can do that. Anyways, uh, this machine's not going to show up until... Um, eBay estimated the 19th of June, which it sounds about right coming from, uh, what is this, Cary, North Carolina that this is coming from. And since this is the free shipping, it's going to take a while, so that's fine. I'm not expecting it to come right away. I'm not in a huge rush for it, even though I did pay out the absolute ass for one of these machines personally. But this is about as good of a value as I'm ever going to find one because... You know, when I looked around on eBay, and I know a lot of people on the Discord would attest to this, especially Syndicator, if he's watching this, which he probably is, so shout out to you in the Discord and all my YouTube live streams that you've been in. But, um, yeah, this machine, I could not have found a better value if I tried. This is about as good as it's going to get, so I scooped it up while I could, and I got seriously lucky. So this machine is going to be super nice, assuming that it's in as good a condition as it's shown here in the pictures, and I don't have a 99-cent G5 epidemic like I had with that machine, which really, really sucked. So anyways, that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and turn the screen recording off, and hopefully this machine arrives in one piece, and we will have a new-ish MacBook Pro. So thank you guys for watching.